Today, I heard the Lord say, I am making some adjustments to some blueprints, prepare to pivot and come along with me. Then Psalm 32 verses 8 to 9 surrounded me. I hear the Lord saying, I will stay close to you, instructing and guiding you along the pathway of your life. I will advise you along the way and lead you forth with my eyes as your guide. So don't make it difficult, don't be stubborn when I take you where you've not been before. Don't make me tug you and pull you along, just come with me. Psalm 32 verses 8 to 9, TPT As I leaned in and listened to the Lord, I heard the Lord say, Embrace the adjustments in this hour that I am making to some blueprints that I have given you. Hold not white knuckle to the blueprints, but hold them with an open hand. I am inviting you to the banquet table of wisdom, my wisdom, to hear the intricate instructions that I am bringing forth in this hour. For I say unto you that things will not and cannot remain the same. For there is a spirit of intimidation at the doorway of change for many of you right now, attempting to lure you in with its words of death, to stop you from moving into the new things that I have for you. I say unto you, open your spiritual eyes and see that this is not a natural realm occurrence. There is a spirit of fear and intimidation plaguing you at the next door of destiny that I have for you in this hour. For I am calling you deeper into the place of surrender and dependence upon me. You must be prepared to pivot and come along with me where I am leading. I say unto you, do not be afraid of change, but embrace all that I am doing. For I am leading you into a great place of walking in my purposes and plans in the earth. Do not get up from the banquet table of wisdom, where you are feasting upon me and my divine intelligence for this hour. For you must be still before me to hear the intricate instruction that I am releasing right now, the shift and changes that need to be made so you can make room for the birthing of that which I am bringing forth. For many of you are being lured and lulled into complacency and the familiar by the familiar voices in your life and those from the past. I say unto you listen to my voice first and foremost. Make no room for the applause of man and hold not onto alignments and relationships of the previous season that you can see I am shifting you from. For holding onto these relationships and alignments will hinder your next assignment. I am bringing you into new alignments and assignments in this hour, and you must not delay in your obedience. For I am bringing you higher into the place of receiving intricate instruction of the building that I am bringing you into in this hour, and there have been many voices surrounding many of you, attempting to bring you into the place of remaining in where things have been and what you know. There are loud voices in the natural and in the spiritual realm that are attempting to come against the unfamiliar and calling it wisdom, but indeed, you have heard my wisdom that I am preparing you and leading you into places you have not walked in before. The adjustments to some blueprints that I am making right now are leading you into the unfamiliar and uncharted places, and the voices that are shouting to stay safe in what has been and what you know are not voices that are echoing what I am speaking to you. I am calling you into the uncharted places and into the places where you have not yet walked. You are not walking alone and on a whim, but you are walking on my wisdom. You must follow my wisdom and my intricate instruction in this hour. It will sever some alignments because of their lack of understanding but know that I am with you. I am strengthening you, comforting you, empowering you and leading you into the new things that I have for you. You must make no room for naysayers, but move forward in strength and boldness in your dependence upon me with your wholehearted yes to me. There is no need to fear, my people, for I have prepared you for this hour as you have sat at my feet. As you have remained close and embraced my refiner's fire, I have built within you all that you need in my spirit and grace to move into what I am calling you. I am leading you further into a place of governance with me, and as you continue to follow where I am leading, do not place your eyes on what is left behind. You must keep your eyes on me and where I am leading you. For the enemy would seek to entangle your heart in what has been left behind, and contain you in great sorrow, where my spirit is bringing strength, comfort, life and empowerment in the partnering with me in what I am about to do in and through you. For some of you say to me, could it be that the many seasons I have walked have prepared me for this moment, and I say unto you, yes, for you will see in the coming days, the coming weeks, the coming months, 
more and more how monumental and important this season is, and how I am positioning you further into your assignment and calling in the earth like never before. Every step you take in this season must be led by me. There is an urgency in this hour to move only as I move and only where I move. I am calling you into deep obedience in the intricate instructions I am releasing, and these instructions, and my wisdom, is where you will find all that you need and great protection within my wisdom. For many of you have felt like the enemy has been attempting to strip you of much. But I say unto you, that in this hour, I am equipping you with greater divine insight and understanding to walk in my ways, my wisdom, the assignment on your life and the provision of life and living in me. Where the enemy has come against you to try and strip you of much, and many of you have felt like you have been lost in the swirl and are not equipped for the days ahead, I say unto you that I am dealing with the divination and witchcraft that has been coming against you. And you are not only equipped for the days ahead, I am raising you up as an equipper of others in me. For you will see in the days ahead, how all you have walked and endured, I have turned for your good and to arm you for the days ahead. And you will see how you will release my wisdom and revelation to others that will equip and arm them for what I am leading them into. The discernment I have given you is a weapon for you to equip you, and at my leading and direction, you will release what I call you to release that will equip and arm others. For I say unto you, take not all that you see in the natural at face value. I am increasing your discernment in this hour. You must pay attention to what I am showing you, and you must continue to come to me first, not to man first, but to me first, and ask me to reveal and expose the root of what is going on. I am not only going to expose and reveal what has been going on behind the scenes and under the surface, I am going to pull things out by the root. I am going to give you greater divine insight and strategy to see what is really happening and the strategy to intercede and move in my wisdom that will completely set you free and bring you into deeper clarity. The swirl and relentless onslaught of witchcraft has come against some of you so strongly to hinder your divine sight and insight. I say unto you, I am breaking it, I am exposing it, and I am showing you what it is and breaking its power. And in these days, I am bringing you deeper into being discipled in discernment by me in the secret place and raising you up to stand on the front lines in this hour, to intercede and release insight of my wisdom and my ways. Many watchmen have come under a violent attack of witchcraft in this hour, but I say unto you, I am breaking this witchcraft attack and increasing your sight. Get ready to see and sound the alarm in greater ways than you have, as I lead you into a divine panoramic vision for my plans and purposes in the earth. Come out from under, watchman. A new level of governing is upon you.